Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today it is another sneak peek day from Diamond Art Club. This one, this one is interesting and I'm really excited to share this one with you. Um, if you can tell, this blue band that goes across the front means that it's a square kit. So the diamonds inside are square shaped and this one is called A Hawaiian Girl and Her Dog by Sheena Pike. Y'all know, I love Sheena Pike. This, <laughs> this is so pretty, 56 by 71 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches. I'm gonna get into it. How are you doing today? Today is a beautiful day here in Virginia. Um, it's just snowed this morning and all the snow is melting now, but it was so beautiful to wake up to something like that. It's been a long time since I've seen snow and there's still a little bit on the ground but it's really sunny now just a beautiful day so there is the box it's very heavy because it is a big painting and I know I'm gonna struggle to show this to you so um, I hope you'll bear with me as you know this isn't my normal filming setup. It's just temporary. So here is a little sticker you can put on the outside of the box or in your log book. It comes with a toolkit and the toolkits are all the same for all the squares. It comes with the pen, a little squishy, baggies, a clear tray for the diamonds to shake the diamonds, get them straight, two plates of heart-shaped wax, and a multi-placer. And then you also get the, it's like an inventory list, except not really. It shows you all the drills that come in here, and there are 63 colors. I'm pretty sure that this has the most colors out of every Diamond Art Club. And if I'm wrong, let me know which one has more down in the comments, but I think this one has the most. So this is going to be what we call a confetti heavy painting. There's going to be a lot of color changing in it. Murphy agrees to <laughs> let me let him out of the room okay so that means that there's going to be a lot of color changing and it'll be really exciting to work on if you enjoy that sort of thing um there are symbols on here that I haven't seen before like the star for 700 the a for 3760 some of these are new to me and diamond art club so that's really interesting really really interesting all right so we've got all of those the the trick with these if you're interested to see how i saw someone on the group that i run with mrs crochet and coffee crafters anonymous with mrs crochet and coffee and rachel ray someone put up a picture of how they use these to label their containers and if you're interested to see how I do it, please check out the eye just up here in the corner. Um, it's the winter get ready with me kit up my winter with the AC painting. And I show you how, how to do that easily and quickly. So that's what you can use that for. Or as a walking legend, whatever you like. And here, I always <laughs> rip that. All right, take it out of the sleeve. Inside, you'll have the diamonds, and you'll have an instruction booklet if you'd like, if you need instructions for how to diamond paint. Look at these colors. Look how pretty. They are really pretty. I love how tropical they are. All right, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit so that you can see, so don't get sick on me. Yeah, I'm still kneeling on the floor. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay, can you see this? It says cute but psycho. <laughs> How cute. Okay, let me. I'm going to roll it the opposite way so that you can see the whole thing. And the background is white. So my 
my suggestion would be to do the background before you worry about the rest of it, just to get it out of the way. But it's not too much, just mostly up in that corner. Look at how adorable she is. Oh, that is so sweet. So she's got a ukulele and there's music notes coming out and her cute little dog. Oh my goodness. So actually, when, um, when Diamond Art Club contacted me and they asked me, you know, out of these designs, which do you like the best? I let my grandma choose and she chose this one. <laughs> she said it was so cute. So I, um, I think she's really gonna like it. I know that she can't do it, but maybe I could do it for her. Um, my grandfather was stationed in Hawaii for a little while and then he went there for R&R &R, uh, a little, uh, like, I don't know, 10 years later. And so Hawaii holds a special place in his heart and is a, you know, a nice memory for him and for her because she got to, she got to listen to all his stories about Hawaii. I'd love to go there someday. So let me go ahead and bring you back into the normal size. And I'm gonna show you the drill field. Now, considering that there are 63 colors, there actually is a lot of color blocking, meaning like all a lot of one color in, you know, a space. But if you look here in the grass, that changes a little bit. <laughs> But you know what, that gives it depth and it really does make the colors pop and the, the, the picture come to life. That's what I mean. Now, let me see. If you look here, I'm looking, I'm looking at her face because this, to me, right off the bat, looks kind of weird. But when you look at the original painting, it did, it was meant to be like that. I think you can see that. That is what it was meant to be. And the dog, on the dog's collar, it says Ohana. Ohana means family. I think this is a Lilo and Stitch fan art. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so, are you ready to look at the drills? I'm just gonna move up a little bit because my back is killing me. So here, here's a close look at the drills and what they look like. They are really sparkly. Sorry about the focus. Doesn't really like this lighting. But I'm not gonna say all the color numbers because they're very big now. And I think you can see, well, there are two bags of 310 there. But we've got all of these different colors. There's a good rainbow of color. And that was the other thing my grandma said. She said she likes them a lot because she liked this painting a lot because it was so colorful. <gasps> Look at those ABs. Oh my goodness. So it's a it's a reddish orange. How pretty is that? Oh, it's so beautiful. These are gorgeous. Alright, so that's that strip. Okay, another big strip. And you'll have to forgive my thumbnail. Remember I had a I had a bandage on it, a band-aid, and it ripped off my ripped off my color street. <laughs> and I haven't had a minute to even think about doing my nails lately. So there are wow, five bag bags of white. So that's all background. Next up, more here. So these are these are grouped by quantity, so it goes from most to least. So they're not in order when they're on these chains. Ooh, look at the pink. So sorry, A B is Aurora Borealis, and it's a special coating on the drill that makes it sparkle. You see how it shines a little bit brighter? It's got like an iridescent coating on top. That truck, man. <laughs> that truck. Every time I film. Alright. Anyway. 
it just makes it makes it look prettier with those and we'll look at where they go in just a minute 550 is my favorite beautiful royal purple and then some more bright colors and some more for the these I'm assuming go in the greenery I got one lone bag by itself and here's the last strip excuse me Wow, there's another AB. One of the original colors. It's that light blue color. You can see that sparkle, the shine. It's so pretty. There's a good range of color here. I think it's going to be really pretty. It might be a little bit of a pain to kit up, though. And kit up is where you put the drills into containers. For this one, I might just recommend working from the bags and cutting cutting the corner of the bag and then using tape or something to close it when you're not using it because you would need a lot of containers unless you have like the Doris or something. I have a video on storage and I'll put it right up here. So after the video, you just click on this little I button and it'll show you all the videos that I mentioned during this video. And you can go have a look if you're interested. But that that Elizabeth Ward Doris will probably be the best bet for this one. So let's have a look. So the Aurora Borealis colors are numbers one, two, and three. So number one is pink, and I can see it here in this hyacinth. It is a hyacinth, right? Wait, no. <laughs> Hibiscus. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not with it, y'all. Caretaking is taking a lot out of me. All right, so number one is here, here, and then here around her lay, and then some of the flowers there, just sprinkled around in the flowers, and then the bow down here on the bone that says Cupid Psycho. All right, so that's the pink AB. Then number two is that orange AB, and that is here in this hibiscus, not hyacinth. Uh, it's sprinkled in the lay as well. And, sorry, you can probably see my big fat head. And it's down here in this flower. I think that's a flower. Is that a flower? Uh, it's something. <laughs> I'm not sure. And then number three is blue. And three is here here the outline of that little flower there's some in the lay as well so it looks like it's just focused on the flowers is there any in the pupper no nope that's it just in the flowers outlining a little bit in the flowers that's all i can see and there's one right there <laughs> all right so, what do you think? What do you think? She is so pretty. Oops, wrong way. Sorry. What do you think? I love her. She's so cute. I'm pretty sure that this is fan art for Lilo and Stitch, except Stitch is a little tiny doggy. Um, I really like it. What do you think? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think it's something that you would like to buy or would like to work on? I think this would look really cute in a kid's room, especially someone who loves Disney movies. And I know it's super colorful and it would be a lot of fun to work on even if you don't wanna hang it. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, you've never purchased from them before, I am an affiliate, so the link's down below. If you've never bought from them before and you use my link, I will earn a small commission, but there's no pressure. You don't have to use my links, um, but there's also a discount code there as well if you'd like to use that. Um, but, you know, everything that I say is just my opinion. <laughs> I know not everybody shares my opinion, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed the video, though, and I hope that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing well. Um... If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. This is going to be available Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time for 
um, Ruby and Diamond Club members, and then it'll be 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for the general public. So if you're not um, a Ruby or a Diamond member yet, you can purchase it at that time. They'll send out an email to alert you if you are a club member, um, just so that you know when, it, when it's ready and you'll have a direct link to the painting. And um, I really love the paintings that are coming out this week. So if you're interested to see what the other ones are, go ahead and head over to Facebook and check out Diamond Art Club's uh, Facebook page or their Instagram. And you'll see all the other images that are coming out this week, this weekend. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope that you're fantastic and staying safe and healthy. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.